Adrian. Welcome back, my friend. And welcome to another episode to for uh, No Country for Otakas Christmas Edition. Yay! <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many comments we can get about y'all choose the weirdest anime for Christmas. <laughs> I, I was like, you know, as I was watching it, I was like, yo, like, this guy fucked up. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> but, uh, hey, that's what we do here. You know, this this is uh, anime is actually a uh, kind of popular, I think. Yeah, but, uh, because of the um, the Netflix uh, live action. Yeah, ne- I, well, I, you watch the live action. I I watched the live action. I watched the anime. Is it live and action? I, I didn't watch the live action. Is it good? It's good. It's good. It's pretty close to the manga. Like it doesn't it doesn't take away anything from the anime. It just fills in the points that got really blank, which is mostly mm. the ending. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. So we're covering uh anime that we consider Christmas anime. Uh called Erased. It was a Erased. 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 And <laughs> at uh <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta get this off my chest because last week we t- I talked about it during the uh, Made in Abyss. You mean you what's up with these? What's up? What's up with these? Uh, we, we're not talking about that. I'm talking about the anime. We, 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 what's up with the uh, the parents, man? Like, <laughs> Yo, and there's a boy that's playing to me. What's up with these parents, dog? <laughs> these fucking parents, bro. So we was talking about it during the week. Um, bro, like, every anime. It's like a running theme now. The last four animes, I think, like, the last few animes I watched that we covered. And I watched. Oh, so it's just, like, the parents non-existent. <laughs> Dad dip. <laughs> Yo, I... I dad be... Either that or the, dad, the parents be assholes. Hunter are, 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 are like really retarded. There's only one, one anime in that. Cause, cause when we was talking about it, I was like, yo, like, I never really took note of that. Like, these people are savage, you can't. And I, I, I spent that entire night going to my anime list, like, got uh-huh. find more with good parents, and they got all the way to page, page twenty eight. Hey, what's up, Geek Tap? Page twenty eight, Sean. Page uh-huh. 28. You gotta go to 28 pages of anime? Yeah, and it's like 50, <laughs> 50, animes per, 50 animes per page. And I was like, bro, this is bad. <laughs> this, this is so Dude, it's a, it's, a, it's a thing, bro. It's, it's a thing. Bad parenting. <laughs> I landed on where the parents weren't shit was the disastrous life of Psyche Kid. Did I, have I seen that one? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, bad. But, so, it starts off with, uh, our hero, <laughs> Satoru Fuji, Fujinuma. <laughs> I'm gonna just call him Satoru. Satoru. Uh, he starts off, he works at an anime com, uh, <laughs> obviously a manga company or something. And he's, like, depressed as fuck. But he, like, <laughs> I guess he has his power. We he goes about, like, five seconds. Is that, is that what when he was writing? The- yeah. Uh, he'll notice something, it'll happen, then he'll be able to go back five seconds. So it was, it was actually a pretty neat superpower, then he would like try to prevent it and stuff. Um, and uh, he didn't really have much memories of his childhood. You want to take it from there, buddy? <laughs> I, <even noticed. laughs> I talked for an hour and 20 minutes last week. It's your turn. You did a good job. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's your turn, dog. <laughs> Alright, so, um, whilst uh, shopping with his mom, who he still lives with and everything, he starts to get the same bad boy, but he can't mm-hmm. figure out what is going on. However, his mother notices something um, that is happening across the car park, and it, it starts to make her, like, really think about, you know, that, that altercation looks really shitty. However, he leaves the mom, goes to work, 
comes home and finds the mother murdered, murdered on the floor um, with all the scene set up to look like he was the one murdered, um, who murdered his mom. And then he basically runs out. Uh, the police is about to catch him and his superpower kicks in and he reverts. I, before I continue, this... All right, let me say this. The anime is great. Everybody should watch it. Like, even before it gets to the end, it gets the stamp of approval. Like, the press and the shit. But my thing, the one, like, plot hole in this story, you you might have get killed. You are about uh-huh. to be arrested. Right. Me, I can think, yo, I can go to jail and get my ass right there for nothing. <laughs> this is some shit. Why? He, he, but no, he thinks about the little girl that he never really talked to at school. Like, oh, to the blue. Like, yo, my mother died. I haven't seen Kagami in a while, yeah? I wonder how she does. Like, random. Just random. But either way, that happens. Super so He's got, in. his life was flashing before his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> before he go to prison. And, and, and as you, as in the almighty words of you, get rid of ass right away. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Made sure that starfish hits a hole. Anyway. Bro, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's reverted back to where he was 11? Yeah. Yeah, 11. And yeah, he was just, yeah. He then uses all the knowledge he has in order to try to save the girl. Right. Um, yeah, that was basically yeah. it. It was, it was... Like I said, yeah, it, it's a dark. Anime. It was depressing. It's the de- it's dark, man. Especially the what was it, episode six or episode five? Five. <laughs> so, all right. So, just so that everyone knows, uh, so he goes off. He goes back. He gets kicked back in time, like we said. He wakes up. He's like, "Hey, did I? Did I?" Re-? He calls it revival. He's like, "Did I revive?" And he looks around. He realizes is a is all one of his child. Yeah, one of his childhood friends like walking in front of him. He's like, "What?" Then he looks at his school and he realizes the date because they were like hockey champions or something like that. Mm-hmm. He's like, holy crap. So they, like Dwayne said, he took the op- he was taking the opportunity. He's like, yo, I could go back. Because he kind of blamed himself for not talking to the girl when she was inside the, far- inside the park by herself. Yeah. Because that was the night she disappeared. So he's like, okay, let's do this. So he goes, you know, he goes to school like normal. He still has his brain. So at the age before he went back, he was 20, 29, right? And so he was, <laughs> a yeah. 29-year-old man. <laughs> and then like a 11-year-old body. <laughs> <Damn luck>. <laughs> <Dog>. <laughs> he like looks at one girl. He like starts to blush. She's like, dude, don't do that. I'm 29. I'm like, what in the fuck? Anyway, so... Um, he goes to school like normal, and he, he's trying. He starts. He, tr- he tries to befriend a girl. The girl's like, "Will you kill somebody for me if you want to be my friend?" And he's like, "Uh, I don't know about all that shit." So the girl. Before you continue to everyone watching, <sighs> that is when you know the anime start like going downhill. Like, <laughs> bro, when she, yo, she had bruises and shit on on her leg. Just, just let it go, though. And the, bro, the more off a cliff. <laughs> Off a cliff. Yo, yeah. this girl was getting her ass bust, bro, at home from her mom and her mom's boyfriend. Mom's boyfriend. They were beating the shit up this girl. I dad, like, put it her in the shed in the back. It is snowing. The reason we said it, <laughs> it's fucking December, yo. <laughs> yeah. they, they put her ass in the shed. And then, like, because her face no was all clothes. bruised and her mom, no clothes. Mom, face all bruised up and shit. Oh, no one could tell. No one could see this at school. So she would take her head and push it into like a fucking sink full of ice, so the swelling would go down. What? <laughs> yeah. So this goes back, yo. So the girl's obviously depressed and shit, and uh, she's like standing around. And uh, in the original timeline, man, she would stand alone in the park and shit. You oh, know, it was. Off. He, yeah, he just walked off. So this time he actually talked to her and stuff. So, you know, after a couple of interactions, they got cool. Um, 
there's some other stuff that goes on to build a relationship, which was uh, pretty pretty good. She didn't just be his friend right off the bat. You can see that she had trust issues. I would too after getting beat like a pillow. Um, I don't know pillow beat me. <laughs> you get beat like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, boy, that 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 was slippery. That no, was Edwin, slippery. we don't. Damn, no, Edwin, I don't murder friend. I don't murder people for friends. <laughs> not normal. Not normal at all. Not normal at all. But yeah, uh, yeah, it was. So the girl we talking about shit is down here. Okay, Kayo. She was the one that was getting abused by her uh, mom and stuff. So he pretty much worked, the kid worked with the teacher here and stuff to try to get her uh, out of that situation. So everything's going good, man. Everything's going good. Yeah. The day that she was supposed to die was, was I think, it was still winter, so it like stretched into like March. Yeah, right? uh, it was, it was her birthday. Right. So they had, their birthdays were the same day, weren't it? Yes, his birthday was the day before, and her birthday was the day yeah. after. So the right, right, so they, between. right, so right. B. He walks her home. He gives her some mints. You know, he's like, "Hey, oh, girl, you good. good now? You passed the day you're supposed to die." Then comes school next day. <laughs> Episode five, bro. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, look, again, that like. I remember everything that happened in anime, right? Like, usually when I watch anime, it's with good stories. I can remember everything that happened. However, watching this again, now that I got kids, was a different set of emotions. Be. Before, I was like, yo, child boy, all right, what we get to the save this? And now I was like, God damn, B, you spent six months trying to save this girl, B. And yeah, the time the time jump was crazy. Six months, Jesus Lord, and you did everything right, and you go <laughs> like the part that had me right was the fact that the girl went missing, and the mother threw in the gloves. Be <laughs> like that's what the Yo, she was, she was smiling. The gloves was in the garbage. Oh, I was like, what? And he freaked <laughs> the hell out. I will freak out too. Like, yo, what? Like. It wasn't like, he was okay. like outside the house, right? Because they, they said that the teacher said, "Oh, she went to the the official story. The the stories that she went to live with a grandmother." But then he told him, "He's like, uh, we don't know, yo. We just try not to panic." And then at that point, two other kids from 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 two different prefectures, yeah, but disappeared. And uh, fuck, <laughs> shit was wild, man. So I. I he, he got. I think he, after that he got thrown. He got thrown back into the future, right? Yeah, and that's when he but met he, his um his his girl crush. Oh the, yeah, the girlfriend. Oh yeah, because he went. He pretty much went back to living under the. He was living under a bridge because he was running from the police. Then he he met the girl crush and he was staying with her for a little bit. Yeah, the nosy the nosy fucking creepy ass manager. <laughs> Stuck it. Yo. He's like. Yo! You know, I have never... I have never believed in the statement that snitch it, uh, sn snitches get stitches. But that moment, Yo, that dude, I was like, That Yo. dude, big snitch, bro. Big snitch. That dude stalking <laughs> outside the house. Right it down. He was about to call the police. Man, she gave that boy a right hook, though. Broke his fucking nose. <laughs> Smacked all his face up. <laughs> and man's kids is in the bed. But, uh... Edwin, uh, Disney and anime. Yep. I feel like in Disney movies, though, like I feel like it's always like, <laughs> something always happens to the daughter. Don't have, don't have, don't have daughters. I always just reply to Edwin's in um, Disney movies. Yeah, Cinderella, Red Riding Hood. Man, no, Red Riding Hood was in Disney. Sorry, Cinderella. Yeah, you, can't, you can't blame Disney. <laughs> Mermaid. You gotta blame the brothers Grimm. Yeah, but who, who gives a shit? That's semantics. Because I'm talking about is always... The, the difference is, is that it's happy at the end of Disney. I'm just saying that having daughters suck. <laughs> but anyway. Mm -hmm. What was I saying? 
So after episode five, he goes back home. He's with a. Uh, he's still running from the police and shit. He's staying with this girl. And then he sees the murderer. Well, he didn't. He didn't see it yet. What What happened is, uh, he was going. To, he was trying to investigate her stuff. I then remember they start the burnt. Someone burned a house down with a girl in there. Oh yeah, that was funny. <laughs> and so she passed out. And he ran in to save her, and then the uh, the boss, the stockish boss, come runs into uh, later, pretty much to take the uh, the credit for saving her, even though he was a bitch ass motherfucker. He stick. waited outside. <laughs> the man was wait- Yo, stick. he waited to the dude did all the hard work, bring her down stick. the stairs and everything, and they riding at the front of the door, took her, and was like, "Get out of here! I'm gonna take the credit for this." Um, so he. So he ran up through the back, went back onto the bridge, and he was hiding out there for a little bit. Oh. So the girl, apparently the girl was the only one that believed that he didn't kill his mom. Because <laughs> he was too nice. And then, then she, 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 was coming, she was coming to him while he was onto the bridge, and that the police pretty much followed her there. And then they, that's mm. when they grabbed him. And, and once they him. grabbed him, yeah, they, yeah he, he realized who the guy was. He's like, what the fuck? I don't think he actually... Did he actually see him, though? He, didn't, he, he saw him standing there, but he didn't see his face. Yeah, he just saw his eyes. And he right. was like, yo, like, these are the same eyes I saw that walked past me like my mom was murdered. And then he went back. And then the man was like, right, determined. <laughs> that was that. And it was, it was cool, though, because this time he did try to do it alone. Um... And then he had his friends and stuff got involved. And it was pretty cool, you know. The I I I was just I I was just saying like, yo, y'all have no luck. The man was like, right. Every time she goes home, she's dead. Stashy. <laughs> the man stashy get put the bus beat. And the bus turned out to be real. The man was like there, all he dead bodies and all sorts of crap. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Like, this random bus that y'all chose out to nowhere just happened to be the, the, the killer's hideout. And, man, it was crazy, man. That, that anime. That anime. Oh, man. Yeah. But then he, he got thrown, he, well, he was arresting his ass. He got thrown back into the uh, past. After screaming like a lunatic. You can imagine like, you're the policeman about to arrest this dude. <laughs> and he just stands there, go back. <laughs> yeah. no, no, you get what I'm saying? Like, I assume that timeline still went on. Yeah. So uh, there's, a, there's a timeline out there where he's standing, screaming, get out. Get, go back, sorry. Go back. The same way there was a timeline where he's just running from the police, running down the stairs. Yeah. But then that consciousness went back. Yo. So is 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 interesting. I think it was, I it think, was actually pretty interesting to see how the killer set up all set up the guy in the past to take the fall for those murders for the kids. Mm. Yeah. But the guy was already like weird already because he used to like talk to kids walking by themselves home from school. But right there, yeah, but like, he was, he was, oh God. No, I'm not saying he was a bad person. I'm just saying like, if, if you ask a random person, hey, what do you think about this guy? And he, she, the person doesn't know the guy. Right? Yeah. They just be, say, oh, he just, he, he, he always talks to kids on the way home from school. But to kids that walk by themselves, they'll be like, I always thought that was weird. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you were playing pay for airplanes remember, and stuff. I can't remember what movie it was, but there was a movie like that. Really, guy was autistic, and there was a killer going around, literally framing everything on him, because because he was autistic, he would always speak to kids that was by themselves because they were more receptive than kids in the group. So mm. it was it was interesting. I mean, I like you said, this was well written. Uh, because they, they thought out, you can see the, the level of uh, thought that went into building the story and stuff. And it was it was it was a good anime, man. But it was it was rough. It was rough. <laughs> so uh, 
continuing after episode six, he uh pretty much he even he, he ends up helping the girl. They like stashed her away for a couple of days and stuff. Call child protective services on the mom. All that good shit. So I think the daughter the daughter the girl end up living with the the grandmother, right? She actually went and lived with the grandmother this time. Yeah. And I actually like died and <laughs> then they said that. Then she actually lived with her, so that helped her. But then there was two other girls that were supposed to die in that timeline. So he had to end up well, one one other girl. I think Yo, I need you to explain this, dude. Yeah, but no, that was a dude, bro. <laughs> All right, let me bring that picture up, just so you understand. Do, 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 do. That, this person? Oh, yeah. What? That's a dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because he grows, he grows up to be this. Yo. <laughs> Whole anime, bro. Ten episodes. I swear to God, 10 episodes, 10 or 11, 11 episodes. I'm thinking that's a girl. I'm like, okay. And then like, so, okay. So the movie he was talking about was Prisoners. Movie extraordinaire Edwin hooked you up. Yes. Yes. Appreciate it, Edwin. Yes. I'll give you a, I'll I mean, give you a four at work. Again. It was, it was good. That was a good movie. Yo. Oh yeah, but I just I just it's just amazing that he remembered it off of that description, like right off the bat. <laughs> I had a different movie in mind. And then probably so, bro. Like threw me off. Twelve eleven episodes I'm thinking this is a chick. And then like there's a scene at the end, well closing that final episode. Um the, the guy uh the man star uh Satur Satoru. He's in the hospital. And they visit him. This is like 15 years later. And we're going to tell you how he ended up in the hospital here in a minute. And uh, he, this dude walks. I was like, is that... Is that... It's a god? <laughs> yeah. Good shit. <laughs> married to the same girl they were trying to save from the very beginning. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Was, and uh, then the third, the third girl... The third girl and... Uh, uh, Aya, Aya, which is Aya. this chick, she 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 ends up with the the bigger the, the, the chubby dude. He's yeah. like, our home base is boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Because <laughs> she was calling uh the man guy uh childish and shit. Because he was trying to befriend her so that they will all be together, so she wouldn't get kidnapped, and then uh. Then she the was like guy. going them off. The big guy, they were hiding in the bush because they was wondering why, why they keep dishing us. He comes out the bush. He's like, man, our home, our home. Because they used to stay in this little, little sh no, it was a shack, like a, a building. Um, and they used to call what it what home base. Call it, what do you call it? What do the kids call it? A clubhouse. There you go. Clubhouse. Yeah, they were calling it a clubhouse. And she was teasing uh, Satoru about it. But he comes out. He's like, bro, our clubhouse is boss. <laughs> 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 she went, well, she's 11. So it was more like, so, yeah, so that worked out pretty good. Sloosh. So, that was about to say sloosh. <laughs> so the whole time he's doing all this, he's, yeah. I, uh, nah, nah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, we can't, we can't say that. Hey, we can't oh say that. God. So, so, uh, so this whole time he's doing this, he don't know who the, he don't actually know who the killer is. He, they like cross paths while he was a kid. Well, they cross paths. Uh, she, uh, what's her name was staying, K.O. was staying in the bus, and he was mad because he couldn't find her. <laughs> and he, like, came in the same bus, but he never went in the back. He just went, like, uh, he, like, kicked the boxes at the front. Yeah. That stuff. That's when they found all that evidence. So, yo, talk about, I'm gonna give it to her, though. Because, you know, we watch a lot of movies and anime where, like, something will, like, that will happen, and no, the person will scream. Or a scream. They're either trying to run out of the screen. Cause remember, he kicked the thing and she jumped, mm -hmm. but she covered her mouth and she was like, but she never screamed. She didn't make no noise. So, uh, all them ass kickings that she got, teach her something. <laughs> That's so fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> but it's terrible. So, uh, yeah, man. So. So all three of them survive and stuff, and 
So fast coming up. We're coming out to the end. There's only 12 episodes. It, this is a really quick one. But this is our holiday special. <laughs> holiday special. I'm sorry. So it has snow. Daddy, this is really good though. You should check. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. But um uh, Okay, so coming out to the end, he's talking to the teacher and stuff. Uh they, there's a hockey game. So there's this one girl. There's another girl in the class that always uh, end up. She end up always being by herself because she was pretty much a bully, and she used to bully uh, Kyle. But this time he stood up for her. Um, Satru stood up for her. Made it pretty much made her look bad in front of the class. I'm nailing these movies descriptions. Fuck yeah, you nailing these, Edwin. But I, I, I expect that from you. I hold you as premium movie guy. So yeah, he, yeah, he he pretty much embarrassed her in front of the class after she started trying to pick on Kayo. And uh, her popularity like fucking tanked out. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Yeah. The, the girl, yeah, the girl. So she ended up being by herself the whole time for like the thing. So he was like, yo, I got to befriend her because she's by herself and she could be in danger. So his plan was she was supposed to go to a hockey game or something by herself. And he was trying to like, you know, use that as an opportunity and he butt into the teacher. Yeah. Bruh. He was like, Oh, <laughs> how, how? being kidnapped and he jumped in Yeah, yeah, because he, he bro <laughs> He's like, Oh yeah, I was gonna try to talk to her and he look he looks over the edge and uh you can really see her. The teacher's like, What you doing? He's like, Oh, I'm trying to befriend uh I can't remember the girl's name. Misato? She wasn't that important. <laughs> she wasn't really a part of it, was, but she, she played she a, a, a role at. Piece. Yeah, at this point, yeah, she was pretty much. I call a plot device. <laughs> she was there for this to happen, so the teacher's like, "Oh man," uh, he's like, "Dude, I think that truck took her." He's like, "Okay, man, I'll, I'll take you," and he jumps in the car with his te- with his teacher, and puts on the seatbelt, and they drive off. And that truck made the left turn. And the car went straight. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! He's like, the kid's like, what the, f- the, the truck? <laughs> no, I was like, yeah, nah. yeah, she's not in there. Like, what? She's not in there, man. Oh, uh, you play. She's you back at the candy? hockey rink. No, nah, this is not my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you remember when he opened it? Yeah, he had all that candy stashed in his old car, his, other, his original car. He's like, yeah. it's not my car, man. Took that boy, bro. He's like, I don't understand how you did it. How'd you do it? How'd you know how to plot, uh, spoil all my plans? So, in the end, taking all these away. This motherfucker! <laughs> the teacher, man! How, how, er, how, how early did you guess it was him? Me? Yeah. Uh, the first time he turned jump. Mm-hmm. When when he went to save the girl, the mm-hmm. mother kid, remember the scene where he went to save the girl. He went to sneak the girl from out to the shed, and the mother came out to beat both of them. I was like, "Yo, fresh ass whooping!" <laughs> and the teacher showed up randomly. I was like, "Bro, why why are you stopping? too close? Yeah, too he, close." Yeah, it, it 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 was like it wasn't like it wasn't like okay. I I told the teacher about it, and you know this is just coincidence because then would have get beat first, and then the teacher wouldn't have showed up at that hour in the night. So I was like, "Yo, mm-hmm. boy, why are you out there, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing, man?" And then I was like, "I feel bastard." Honestly, bro, I'm gonna be real. As soon as that motherfucker showed up, <laughs> I was like. That's a bitch. <laughs> it, it was just like, I don't trust you. <laughs> and you're a cartoon. You're an animation, and I don't trust you, bro. It's too Stranger. nice. Stranger danger. And, and it, it, to me, it would make sense, like, some of them, because he was a familiar face mm-hmm. stuff, but it was just a guess. I, I was like, oh, okay. But once, once it revealed at the end, I was like, okay. Whew. Whew. I could have been wrong as fuck. Look like an idiot. But so, <laughs> nah, so yeah, he tried. That, that, you know what? That that could have stemmed from where we grew up. 
Like, I, like, I probably shouldn't say this, but fuck it. I'm 33 years old. Don't give a shit. I watched that entire show, and I thought of Mr. Oliver B. Oh, man. Mr. <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <True>. Oliver, <laughs> uh, the geography Damn. teacher who's also the friendly geography. and always like hanging out with the girls, and he little um, what, what, what do you used to call it, tuck shop? Yeah, be yeah, that was weird. Yeah, that was weird, weird as weird. fuck. That was weird as fuck, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. And then six years later, you found out, huh? And then six years later, you found out. Found out what? That man ain't paying them. <laughs> oh. Oh, really? I didn't know. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. I should probably show. It makes sense. I'm not surprised. You ever like, have one of those situations happen and you're just like, yeah, I'm not surprised he did that. It just messed up. Yeah. Damn. Anyway, so. <laughs> try to, yeah, so he. uh Man, that shit's fucked up, bro. Anyway, so. <laughs> Yeah, he kidnapped, He pretty much kidnaps the kid. He's like telling him, dude, you spoiled all my plans. How the fuck did you know? And he gives her like, you know, when I was growing up, you know, I, I, a girl gave me some hamsters. Drowned them. <laughs> I kill all of them. He drowned them. <laughs> one survived. So he had to, one survived. So he ended up training it. <laughs> he was like, I'm going to keep this one and stuff. And uh, he pretty much went to drown the kid, man. He, he super glued the, I think the he super glued belt. the seat belt so he wouldn't be able to come out. Put the put the brick on the accelerated car, went in the water, and the kid screamed out just before it, it got submerged. I know, uh, I know your, your future. future. And time jump fifty years. He he didn't time jump. He was in a coma <laughs> for fifteen years, like organically. Yeah, dude. So he come, mm -hmm. he got up. His memories were a little jumbled at first, and um, so he can walk and anything. So he had to do rehab and shit. And then my boy showed up at the hospital, bro. <laughs> he was taking care of that kid for 15 years. He used to shave him and shit. You know, I was like, I, I, I needed you to be alive. <laughs> I knew you were going to do it. I just waited for you. Was like, Must yes. he waited fifth. Now, now, this is the thing, man. Why are you just let his throat? <laughs> yeah, like, ask a lad. <laughs> ask a lad. With you think... Yeah, but you think is I think well he, they kind of like tell you why he didn't do it, but yeah, cause when he was about to commit suicide at the end, so pretty much at the end he they were able he he takes him upstairs he was going to kill him and set it up to make it look like like he was committing suicide because there was this girl in the hospital that had a uh, leukemia, man they really put a kid with leukemia in this bitch yeah anyway so and uh, he was telling her nah, don't worry about it I had no sympathy for that girl. <laughs> I mean, no, you had no sympathy for that girl. Me. Had a little bit. I mean, leukemia sucks in children, but I don't. I don't. I, mean, I, I don't. I don't. I, in the I, don't I don't target my dislike of that at her. I just I target that I got anyway. So I'm gonna keep that to myself. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. I mean, it's it's hard because we don't know her as a character. She was just a girl that was there. I, you know, yeah. he was like, yeah, you know, uh, I'm you're my motivation to keep trying to walk and stuff like that. But she was a she was just another plot device, pretty much just show how the guy was gonna set him up for her murder. You know, like, hey, yeah. we got your finger fingerprints on this bag that's supposed to. But the thing <laughs> the thing is though, right? And I, I guess I guess this is where the anime and the manga differs. Because in the manga, she's actually really important. Because mm. he I think because he, as we know, he's the councilman and the political figure. And he right. sees the little girl at uh one of those conventions where you raise money for children with disabilities and stuff like that. Right, right. Yeah, they, t they say that. I remember they saying that in the anime. And he he saw the likeness from Kaio. So that's mm. when he started building the plan on how he going to defeat Satoru anyway. So, so he, mm. he actually... The so she actually plays a she actually plays a, a huge, a bigger role yeah, in the manga. Yeah, she plays a bigger role because he uses her... 
because he sets it up that he pays for the entire hospital children's ward to go right. to um, a carnival and he is going to kill the girl in order to draw Satoru out and to, to right. draw his memories so that they right. could fight. And then that would have been his last two kills. Right. Well, he, he, it's crazy because he didn't kill nobody all them years. 15 years, bro. In the anime. So I In the manga, the manga killed 96 people, B. No. Oh, he, he kept killing people? Oh, B. That's how he became. Um, he. Cause, cause you know the even after even after Odu after Odu went in the he caught like you know cause I understand he killing all them people in the main line but I'm talking about after he revived twice and he goes in he was he was on con he was in a coma for 15 years he kept killing people yeah cause you know the um Satoru's friend the detective little kid that was really smart right he ends up. Becoming a policeman and trying to solve the case before the statute of limitations end, right? Right. And he it's sees the fun. teacher's name keep coming up, but he ain't got the proof. But what happened was is that when 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 the guy walked off after drowning mm. Satoru, the man killed the old man to get the car. He was driving somewhere around to gas him in a gas station, killed four people. Got the the, the, the maintenance truck from there, drive into Tokyo, um, kill the 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 mayor's daughter's fiance, became her fiance, killed the dad, took the dad's position, killed the kid, killed the killed the woman that he had just married, plus her own. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Yo, I know why they cut it out the anime. It makes yeah. sense why they cut it out the anime. Yeah, that, whoa, whoa, yo. It went, it went downhill, B. Like, so, no, I gotta read the manga. There's only nine volumes. I could probably knock that out. No, but they don't, they don't show it in the manga. They just explained it. As in that oh, dude, just knowing that that shit happened is tremendous. Yeah, B. Because it makes sense. I, 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 you know what's funny? Like, well, I was like, there's no... I understand he was waiting for that guy to come back to life. Mm -hmm. I mean, wake up. But to stop your whole thing, yeah, because you know? because even in the manga he said like even though he was doing it, the the, and the feel sense of joy that he was getting wasn't there anymore. And, and wasn't there? It was like it has to end with you. Mm. So it's only once he heard that the kid was in a coma, that's when he stopped. And that was only like three four years. And he was like, "Oh, it's been building up all this time, and now like I, I get to release it." It was, it was weird, man. It was weird. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> so they set up. They, holy shit! I did not know that. That, that that's good information. I'm glad one of us read the manga. Um, I had to because so, once I see that anime ending, I was like, "No, that is not part of the story." <laughs> it was too. It was too speedily written. This offer. Has not written the story like this. Same wrong. So I didn't read it. Mm. I can see that. You know they always gotta make adjustments. Yeah. You can't. You couldn't put that in that shit, bro. Especially if you wanted that thing. It's already dark enough that you put out like ninety something people there. <laughs> and you know they would have had a bit. They would have had a like because in uh, illustration you can, you know, just you know put pictures. Yeah. You gotta draw that shit. So they would have had to do like a flash, like those quick flashbacks, like him just murdering people. Yep. They walking away and just showing a bunch of people dying in a, in like faded in the background. <laughs> it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel right. <laughs> so pretty much, uh, they set him up, uh, with the help of his mom, um, the main guy, Satoru, his mom. They all pretty much helped. He like pretended to jump off the building. <laughs> Well, f jump out, throw his wheelchair off the building with him. Yeah. And then uh, the guy was like, Gaku was like, well, that's it. And he was about to kill himself. And then he looked down and saw that they caught him on like a... Uh, one of those a fire service balloons. Yeah, one of those fire service balloons. And then he started laughing and the police pretty much came and take him away. And that was the end of... Yeah, me. That was the defeat of that shit, but... I did not know about the manga. I really appreciate you telling me about that shit. That shit is tremendous. I mean, it fucked up, but it's tremendous. <laughs> the manga also tells what happens after he gets arrested as well. 
and, okay. it, and it has a different ending. So I won't spoil it for you. You should go read it. But but, but the show, huh? Spoil that bitch, bro. Spoil. It's a show. Come on, let me hear. Because <laughs> right. I want to know now. I don't want to sit down and read all that shit. <laughs> so I'm going to skip to the last fucking the illustration. Year, and he sets up for the little girl to drown in a boat on on a river that goes by a bridge. And um, what happens is Satoru saves her, right? So mm-hmm. he goes out in the bridge. This time, he's not in a wheelchair anymore. He's on crutches. And um, so he goes up on the bridge, leg in the cast, all that sort of stuff. And the guy was like, yo, you are, you are 15 minutes too early. How are you 15 minutes too early? And he was like, it doesn't make sense. So what happened? So then Satoru explained to him, like, look, I got superpower where, like, 10 seconds before something bad happens, I jump back. And I was able to stop you because I jumped back really far in time. And I was able to defeat you. And then there was silence. So the man was like, all right, I believe you. The man was like, wait, what? He was like, yeah, that's the only way you could do it. Because they spent eight years planning every murder. That's the only the only way you could do it is if you actually seen it happen before. So I believe mm-hmm. you, but you can't you can't you can't jump back now. So what's gonna happen if I kill you? Do you jump back? Your mom was like, "No, I've been in the coma for fifteen years. I know what's gonna happen." Your mom was like, "Really? Okay. So you didn't really plan for this." <laughs> <laughs> And set the bridge that the both of them was on fire. And that was where he decided, like, yo, if you already know you're going to kill you and how they're going to kill you, it don't make sense trying to kill you. I can do something that you never experienced before. I can kill both of us at the same time. All right? So the bridge was burning and all sorts of junk. He, he set it on fire. And Satoru was like, well, you, you forget one thing. You didn't calculate one thing. And he was like, oh, what's that? I've known you, like, because I was 29 when I met, because I was 29, and then I went back, and I had to live another 15 years. I've known you for 30 years. I know all your tricks and stuff. And you forget to ask one question. And he's like, what's that? How did I save Kazumi? And he was like, that's actually a good question. How? And he jumped so at him. So the cast and the crutches was a fake. And he jumped so at him and pushes him off the bridge. And all the police and all his friends and stuff are there, and they're, they're holding down. And they arrested. That was it. Oh, so it was a lot more intense than how it ended in the in the yeah, animation. A lot more intense. So then, what happens then is that the girl so that's not so the that hospital scene is not what happened in the manga. That did not even occur. Nah, so that's like a totally they different left, enemy. They left the hospital. Oh shit! Okay, okay. Yeah. But he was gonna kill somebody else. Yeah, they left. Ah. The so the girl, they took the girl back to the hospital. And, like, it was so funny. The day that he had kidnapped the girl was the same day that she was supposed to... Because that's how he was going to set up Satoru. He was going to... Mm. So they all went to a fair, right? As a hospital group. But what he did is that he took the girl, he kidnapped the girl from the fair. So that when they went back, um, it would look like Satoru took the girl with him. Um, because she said she didn't want to get the surgery, and she just died. Like, they both committed suicide and died. So, mm. they managed to get her back to the hospital. She had her surgery, and Satoru went to see her, and Kenzuki was there, so he was like, yo, Kenzuki, what happened? Like, what happened to, to Yagoro? And he was like, well, and that was when he started to explain about the whole 96 murders. Right? Oh. But don't have any evidence for... They don't have any evidence for all of them. They just have him on charges for attempted murder for the girl and attempted murder for you, right? But then they said, he said, and that was what they charged him with. After like two weeks, they went back to see him and they might confess to everything. And some of the way they might describe these murders was not cool, B. Like, some people get drunk like the hamsters. Some people get chopped up. Some people, like, get dissect to, to, to see. Like, it was weird, man. And But, yeah, that's how it ended. It was good. It was a great read. Like, 
Yeah, but you can put that in animation. No, bro, you 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 kill it. Not if you want it. Not if you want it to go on TV and up on like Netflix and shit. <laughs> well, they didn't know about Netflix then, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, and the thing is, when they when they like that is like if, you know what if that shit had if they had tried to do that if it was a '90s anime like oh, yeah. the old ones that we reviewed they would have put all that shit in there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, yeah, make... anime ending. <laughs> shit. Two hour uh, special at the end, bro. It was it was great. That goes in the top three mangas I've ever read. Um, <laughs> I mean, give me a second. Hey, Edmund, have you watched Cuties? I haven't. I was just curious. All right, what are you saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. saying that uh, net. He said Netflix has Cuties. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, no, no. I say what is on net. Okay, so let me explain what I was saying. I was just saying because Netflix was. I don't think Netflix was around when. Well, it was around. It was around. But uh, what I was saying is that they they were trying to get it on TV in Japan and stuff. So they had to, like, I assume they had to make, like, changes and stuff to the story so it wouldn't be as brutal. Even though it was already brutal. They they stopped (laughs) the boat scene. Right. But they took out the little girl. They took Mm -hmm. out the deaths in between the 15 years. Right. And I think, did they take out the mother? No, they they kept in the mother, but rather than them being like children, children, they were starting mm. to teenager ish. Oh, okay. So so like if you look at Kazumi, Kazumi is like half half of him. <laughs> <laughs> like she tall, and you're like man, she ain't no little eleven year old. What are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, but um, no, it was it was I all all three mediums was good, and um. Like I said, the the anime is one of one. Of hey, did the mo- did the live action follow the manga or did it follow the anime? Follow the manga. So it had all the extra shit. Except the bit with the confession and the uh-huh. droning little girly boat. Yeah. Oh, okay, but they did. He did talk about the ninety six, the ninety something murders. Though. Yeah. Yo, hey, hey, this is why I need a co-host, because I would have never said that shit, because I never watched the, uh, I never watched the live action, and I didn't read the manga. Give it a watch, man. Let me know what you think. I think, uh, I think Netflix changed it, though. Before, they had it as a movie. I'll find it somewhere online. No, it's still on Netflix, but I mean, I think they had it as the movie, and then, you know what Netflix does, like, as soon as it Oh, they broke it down into, like, five parts or something? Broke it down into series, yeah. Oh okay, that's cool. But um, so that pretty much wraps up that, dog. Ah, I uh, look, man. I appreciate you going into that last bit, you know, because I I didn't know, I didn't know. I had, that is a fucking savage ass ending. It was so. Man. It was so good. So okay, so we can just do all right. So the manga, man. Which 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 to you is the better one, the manga or the animation? I guess you will say the manga, though. Manga. And the manga is on the manga. Saying. Um, you you say that, but um, there there's been some, some uh, there are some animes that beat the manga. Full, full Metal Alchemist yeah, they, Brotherhood. Oh, the manga was great, but geez. but Brotherhood, bro, Brotherhood, <laughs> yo, <laughs> fanboy. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, all right, let's return to, <laughs> return to big screen. Return to big screen here. Yeah, yeah, man. Shit, what, what? That was a good episode. You know, Merry Christmas and shit, bitches. Um, <laughs> so, so, man. Yo, you know what? I don't really talk about the intro songs to a lot of these, these anime, but... Mm. This shit catchy. Keep my eye on the clock. <laughs> Dude, so that, they don't, that, that, so they don't mute me. So I'm gonna admit the in- and because it's only twelve episodes, they kept that intro for the for the whole fucking thing. Yeah, because you know a lot of these anime as soon as they hit twelve and they hit episode thirteen, let's change the intro. So no, no. So that was. Cr- it, I think this is the second anime that did that, and 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 nailed it on the head. The only other anime I thought that that kept the intro that was really good. Even though it had a long lifespan, was Millionaire Detective. 
The linear detection. You, you, you could not change that intro. They, they would have had so many people like, no, you can't do this. You got to pick about that. I think I actually so, started getting a little popular, man. I see people talking about it. I was like, ha! <laughs> <laughs> I watched it first. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it on episode one. I even did a flashback. <laughs> I even did a flashback when we reviewed that bitch. <laughs> oh man. Uh so yeah, intro, the intro song, the music itself. Fuck man, there's a you know, another high class. We've been hitting the high class. Uh, hey, stamp of approval. Stamp of approval. You know, no country for attack is stamp of approval. Uh we been on a roll, man. We haven't had a really bad one. Nah, I think we siphoned them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we really, we really siphoned that bitches up, like for real. I, I, like, but uh, we haven't had a bad one since Blend. We haven't. No, every episode that we talked about was that anime that we really enjoyed. It never got five stars. But it it wasn't something that we we hated. That's true. I'm here looking at the playlist. Yeah, yeah. Well, you you was a little you was pretty hard on uh Vinland Saga though. To be real, oh yeah. But you didn't hate it. Creative differences. I I just hated the fact the story kept jumping. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, he's, in that anime, he's like, Jesus he said creative differences. Though. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right. So last week, all right. So we just shoot the shit a little bit. So last week, uh, yo, we, t- we almost talked for all on that episode. It's good. So uh, last week, man, Dwayne was out, <laughs> and I took the opportunity to slide in. Some mo- some uh, Marvel review, <laughs> some Marvel uh, trailer, appalling <laughs> trailers uh, review. Uh, good, though. Trailer watch, <laughs> huh? Fa- Yo, I, 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 you know me, man. I don't hear it until I see it. So true. And they, like they dropped all of that stuff in like a two day span between all the Marvel stuff and the Star Wars stuff. Yeah, uh, I was. I, I, have you watched I, Mandalorian? You watched Mandalorian? No, I've heard about it. You know, it's pretty good, man. You should you should check it out. Yeah, yeah. But like two seasons done, that story arc with that that particular Mandalorian is done. So mm-hmm. go sit down and watch it. It's, it's cool. It's a nice thing. They got that little baby Yoda. Is it? <laughs> the baby Yoda. Yeah, that cute little motherfucker, man. I ain't gonna lie. Is cute, it cute, cute little baby tall? Yoda, or is it just? No, nah, it's not baby Yoda. It's uh, go, go, go. No, it's just another one of his kind. Got Guru or something, that's his name. So, we just, but this is like we just completely this is after disregard creating a, a, a unique name and just went with Guru. Oh, Jesus, Lord, I don't know how to watch that. <laughs> yeah, you being picky for no fucking reason because you don't know him, you don't know his name until like halfway the second season. Watch the damn thing, stop bitching. No, I'm gonna keep bitching. Star Wars should have ended when Darth Vader gave his life up. Oh, you mean? Oh, you talk about the the trilogy that just passed? That that the uh, stories, everything. No, 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 no. Well, this is expanded because they don't really. Well, I don't want to tell you. Grogu, Grogu. Thank you, Grogu. That, that. Hey, thanks, Ed. You know me and my. You know me and names, bro. I forget my mama name. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm bad with days. Yeah, Grogu. Uh Edwin agrees with you. Yeah. You know, bro, but like right now they're expanding us. But I will admit, if there's anything they should delete, it's that final trilogy. <laughs> oh my god. People saying that they say that it's not canon anymore. It's not what? <laughs> that it was canon. Like it's not part of the storyline. Like no. <laughs> Disney was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just saying that, but it's just funny. I was just like, they say that it's like, uh, what, what you call it? Um, in the Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty, no, fifty. You know, yeah, like Elseworld. They say like it's an Elseworld thing, but you know, like how Fifty Shades of Grey is just a fan story. Yeah. That they made it to movies. Yeah, they say that. That's it. I'm like, damn, bro. <laughs> so fucking. <laughs> is 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 terrible, man. 
Is that shit was so bad. I, I know why you don't want to watch anything else. He's just like, bro, I sat down through those three. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> but I'm going to be real with you, man. Like, the, do it. Do it. Take it from me. The man Lauren is pretty good, man. It's good. Is it? All right, I'm gonna give it. It's a good. Try. It's good. Look, I, I, look I, watch I, it. Watch it with the wife. Watch it with the wife and kids. Yeah, and too sure about kids, but wife, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yes, I, I yeah, too sure about kids. Rogue One, and I was mm-hmm. like, like my mind was adamant. Like the story's done. Why? Are you, what are you doing? Like, why are we watching this? Well, I mean, then, there was Halo. Well, I look at look at it this way. Like, look at it this way. Look at it this way. While watching that one, just remember there was a game called Halo Reach where we all knew what the fuck happened at the end of that game. The planet blows up. <laughs> then it starts the fucking original story. So we're just like, I'm just watching. I was like, we all know what's going to happen, but this is pretty cool to see what actually happened. Just just going with that mindset. But we all wanted, I all, look man, once Darth Vader showed up in that fucking hallway, you think I give a shit about the rest of that movie? At the end? In Rogue One? Bro. Fuck, fuck the movie, bro. I will watch just that Darth Vader scene. <laughs> oh! God. Edwin said the same thing. Rogue One is Halo Reach. <laughs> we all know what the fuck was going to happen if you follow the whole Star Wars thing. So, anyway. But, yeah. You should check it out, man. It's pretty cool. Okay. What else? What else I watched this week? Oh! Hi- hi- Haikyuu? Hayaku? Haikyuu, the me, volleyball don't anime. Don't tell me. Like, I, I didn't say anything. I'm just saying I watched that. Um, I talked about it last week a little bit. If you are looking for, if you like sports anime and that's what you want to think, be sure to check that shit out, man. That is... Woo! That, that, that shit good. The, the best sports anime um, since Epo. The fall of Epo. Anyway, I know, but because because Epo had me just as emotional. Be that's my. Well, the thing about it is, wait. oh Jesus Lord. To be real, to me, Epo should have probably just ended when he won the Japanese fucking championship. And just... No, um, I, I I see what you said. I see what you said. No, well, compared to where the manga ends up going, they didn't need. Then what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like I, I didn't need all that extra shit because the the rest of the story never actually progressed the way we, you know, it didn't go down that line. So yeah. to me, after he fucking, you know, do that, you know, then you have like a couple movies of him doing a title defense or some shit, you know. But but that's just because of how the manga went. Yeah, it was like, it was on the right track for a while, and then it just if they if they had switched from. Epo to Takamura and mm-hmm. to finish with him actually getting the chance to fight um, uh, oh. Ricardo Martinez mm, for perfect. the championship. Perfect. Mm. It, Takamura could have lost. I, I, I actually, no. Takamura should have lost. If they have done that, it would have been perfect. It would have been. And that's fine, but I'm just saying the Epo story. The Epo story for me. Mm-hmm. Probably should have ended Angel. Like instead of having him keep fighting, and then there was no real goal because he retires. Yeah. From like the, from the time he got that that um blind eye, he should have retired. I mean, it should have ended. Just end it. You know what I mean? That's, that's one of those situations. With um the comment that we want to do with the American football one, and and I told you the end of my story, and I was like, yo, like. It's not a happy ending, but it ends. It doesn't, a movie doesn't always have, a uh, story doesn't always have to have a happy ending. But if you're not going to have a happy ending, that bitch better be good. Because <laughs> imagine if it's bad and has a bad ending, like an unhappy ending. <laughs> the satisfaction. Anyway, so <laughs> it's half a great movie, first half super aimless. Uh, yeah, oh, you, you talk about Rogue One? Yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, that that's just my opinion on uh, it. Po- it's because of how it progressed. It like, yeah. they kept saying, "Oh, he'll go to the world. He'll go to the world. He'll go to the world." Then he got his face bludgeoned, and yeah. he never he never got to the top. Even if he had got to the, if they had got it that he went and then he fought uh, his rival uh, Ichiro, Ichiro or something, and 
you know, because they never actually met back up after. Like the whole build up at the beginning fucking disappeared. I would have rather him fight him at, at, for the the Japanese, Japanese fucking belt, title. and it, and, it. and then after after he beats uh, the tiger, uh, Sendo. tiger dude. Sendo. After he beats it, you know, he beats Sendo, and then he gets the uh, because that kid was supposed to be a prodigy. Yeah, so it, to me, the way I would have written it is had that kid Saho like. Even though he lost to Ippo in that practice match, mm -hmm. Ippo had to take the hard route to get to the championship, fight Sindo, and Ichiro, Ichiro? Is that his name? Yeah. He go, you know, because he was a genius, ends up at the fucking top, and then you have them fight for the Japanese championship. He Dempsey rolls his ass to death, and then, <laughs> and then you know, like, you know how, how they do it, the, and then call it there, and then, you know, you could have one movie with a title defense. Mm -hmm. With uh, Apple, like, oh, they did like you with uh, right, know, and then the next movie could have been with Takamura fighting for the world championship with, with, with Ricardo and, and with, with Ricardo Martinez. And win, lose, draw, you got the two stories and the fucking you, TV you, series. You, you know, boom, you know, boom, boom, boom. The issue, um, and I was actually listening to a Joe Rogan podcast this week with him and Bill Burr that was talking about it is that mm -hmm. you get a lot of these, um artists who don't really have a big name because equal equal ain't that popular and they get a mm -hmm. contract where it gives you a lot of money but it doesn't give you a lot of control so then you because mm -hmm. when you read it the the, the shift you could tell story, you could tell when it switched yeah, yeah. The shift in the story because it's almost like they were tr they were forcing content it was like dude i'm out my story ended yeah. like back here they make they asking me to make more shit i, I, I don't know yeah so it, it then ends up being and it's just disappointed, man. It's just yeah, disappointing. It ends up being a terrible story. Whereas, um, even like I agree, and even uh, Joe Rogan and Bill Burr were saying it's better to have control of your shit and do it because even if it ends, resales are gonna keep coming if it's really good quality. From the time you do something like that and you, you start putting on content and content, and it doesn't mean saying like look at supernatural. Uh, the TV show. And that motherfucker's still going. No, it's done now. It's done? Yeah. For 15 seasons? Yeah. Did, did they end up 15? Yeah. Fought, hey, Edwin, did they end up 15? They fought God. Again? Like, they officially fought God this time? Because they actually met him God. and they fought They fought his sister. Oh. Yeah, officially fought God. Oh, wow. But no, like, it, it was, a, <laughs> it was a great series up to where, it was a great series where, like, Dean was cast to hell. No, not Dean. Mm -hmm. Sam Sam had taken in the devil and he was cast to hell and stuff like that. And it was good. But then like every like, it was supposed to finish. And then like two it kept a year going. and a half later it came back. And you're like mm. and the, the, the writer had changed, like the people who was funding it had changed, and then all of a sudden it's just a bunch of crap. You got Scooby Doo episodes in there, like bro, you reaching. <laughs> Baby, hold a second. Edwin, you got another PS5? Jeez, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro. You got you got two. Well, you can probably sell it, but uh sell it to his cousin or something. But um back to what we were saying, yeah, okay, yeah. I actually I've only watched ten seasons of Supernatural. I've watched up to many when, when they fought God Sister. Um. And God Sister, God and his sister was like, Yeah, alright, we gonna dip. I was like, but the the but Earth, Earth though, <laughs> destroys a whole heroin. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that shit is not. I was just like, you dipped the first time. You was running a bar, writing books, and, and you dipping again. This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's when I stopped. Cause like, that's that's my thing with series. Uh, I so think that's why a lot of that's a lot of times why I stop. I don't really get into TV series that much because a lot of times they go too long. Yeah. And movies have the movies have done that, but you like especially those ones that always end with like, "Hey, there's another season coming," so you never actually get a conclusion of a story. Yeah. So then you end up eight, nine seasons in, and then the whole there's like fifteen hundred fucking plots holes and shit. Well, not fifteen hundred, but you know what I mean. No, and then you're just like. And you're just like, but then they finally end it because they get canceled. Yep. So then they got to rush the final season. And then you're just like, so what happened to this person? What's up with this? 
Yeah. Why not this? And I get you got to keep you keep doing it because you're successful, but it, if you're going to do that, every season should be the way you got to say it should be a season story ending, not continue next season. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the 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 main arc of that season should end. The, if you know that, hey, we might get canceled. If you're going off of that season by season, mm -hmm. unless you contracted for, say you contracted for three seasons, so you get the three, mm -hmm. I will understand, okay, well, you know. But like what happened is like a lot of them is season to season. So they never really know if they're going to get renewed, but they always plan to. Mm -hmm. And then the story fucking ends midway, and you're just like, what the fuck? So I, I'd rather just put it with a movie. <laughs> At least I know it's just like two hours. <laughs> Like two hours, I'm like, okay. Yeah. But anyway. I need to start that Hall to Catch Fire, man. Like, it's like sitting, there's a TV show. Oh, when me and Edwin, Edwin filled in for you that one time. Mm -hmm. And we watch, uh, what trailer was it we watched? Jiu Jitsu? Was it? Jiu Jitsu Kaiser. Oh, with Nick No, 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 we're not anime. This is a movie, uh, with Nick Nicolas Cage. Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> I heard it's like bad. And then uh Monster Hunter. That's what we saw. Is Nicholas Cage. Monster Hunter is not in Nicholas it's Nicholas. Jiu Jitsu is Nicholas Cage. You, you, Monster no, Hunter is uh I said it was Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage says yes to every fucking movie though. Yeah, but he's bad. He has to. He he's not like Tom Cruise that could go, uh eh, nah. He's not Will Smith Tom, go, Tom, eh. Tom Tom Cruise don't say yes to movies, movies say yes to Tom Cruise. That's so true. That's so true. Fanboy. You know <laughs> he said no disrespect. Edwin said no disrespect to Nick Cage. All right. All right. Nick Cage has a good movie. movie. He has a good movies, man. Don't fool yourself. It's just like, uh, I thought going to sixty seconds was pretty good. That's because it wasn't the, about him. He was the lead star. It but Eleanor when he drove the. It was about the car. It was about the car. face off. Really? I thought Face Off was good. As long as you kept the camera on John Travolta. John yeah. Travolta had more parts. You can't deny that. Not really. Well, John Travolta, he was the, he turned into the villain, obviously, and Nick Cage became the good guy. They switched roles. Nah. <laughs> you can't defend it. All right. All no, right. I thought that was a good movie. Right. That, Snake Eyes, uh, Gone in 60 Seconds. Bruh, the the, the, uh, the piece, what's it called? The movie when, when they had the India, not, I had fun with National Treasure, I watched half of that shit, hi. Um, what you call it? Uh, the movie where the Native American guy was uh, the translator in the Vietnam War. Dude, Nick Cage has some quality shit, man, I ain't gonna lie. It's just, you know, Drive Angry, I enjoy that shit. Bruh, are you kidding me? But he, I must admit, Drive Angry... <laughs> I enjoy it for the wrong You reason. know, but then he got them movies. Well, hey, Edwin, what was that movie when they put the bees in his eye? I, I got to hit up my movie boy. Uh, the bees! They're my eyes! <laughs> Nick! Nick, what are you doing? And then there's uh, uh, the one where he... Uh, was it Hell Rider? The, the one that he, his Rider. head... He turned Ghost Rider. He also did the one where he was... It's inside! It's inside! Oh, Wicker Man! Wicker Man! Uh, Taliban, and he went. Oh, Afghanistan. God of War, Lord Lord of War. Is it Lord of War? Lord of War with the when he was a weapons sale, a weapons dealer, bro. Nicholas Cage got some fucking quality, bro. Don't talk, don't damn well talk shit about my boy. I'm about to get mad on this podcast. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> garbage. Lord of what? Lord of War was garb? No, Nicholas Cage right. is garbage. Hey guys, so we gonna go ahead and call it a stream. <laughs> You mad blasphemy. <laughs> so uh yeah. That was funny. That was a good little segment there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said he deleted Twitch. <laughs> Yo, what makes this so fun is that we don't agree on everything. <laughs> so we just like Arr. Um who, who, you know, well, you know, you know who is an overrated actor to be? John Travolta is overrated actor. To oh yeah, definitely. The other day I um, watched Michael, and I was like, 
Why is Scientology? Is that when he was an angel? Yeah. He was a, he was the chosen one, but then they, then uh, Tom Cruise showed up. Then Tom Cruise showed up, like fucking Never ruined his whole life. Um. Yeah. So. Uh. Yeah. I think that's it, guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've been at it for our ten minutes. I hate editing, so this I'm gonna try to keep this. As, I'm just joking. Uh. Hey. Appreciate y'all. He said that John Travolta is absolutely overrated. So. Anyway, so this is episode fifteen, guys. Hey, we made it. Fifteen episodes, hey, man. That's crazy. Jesus. Hey, I got 25 Twitch followers. I feel like I made it. I'm going ahead and uh, start investing in stock. I'm Probably joking. The next but, uh, time you see us, we'll be in the studio. Lights everywhere. <laughs> women dancing all in the background. Like, we'll, we'll have, like, a show. We'll be like, welcome to No Country for uh, Tacos, the place where you can go to and get your anime review. Hey! <laughs> you, you silly. So obviously next week, there's no episode next week. Hell no! Go enjoy enjoy Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> and uh, England has Boxing Day, but yeah. America doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. What? British call? No. Really? We, we're not common. We're not Commonwealth. Only Commonwealth countries have Boxing Day. Oh, so y'all. But it's a Saturday. But uh. You know, you can be with your family. I'm going to be sleeping it's, right it's here. It's really weird, though, because if you remember, Boxing Day always used to have a, 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 a fight, night fight. Like, Mike Tyson used to be beating the shit out of somebody on Boxing yeah. Day. Yeah, it was, it was that, and then Aust Australia versus India cricket. Yes, well, I actually missed that. I actually, I am not going to lie. I actually missed Australia versus India cricket on Boxing Day. I think the Boston Day, yeah, the Boston Day test match. It just sucked because we lived in Barbados, so to actually see most of it, you have to get up like stupid early. Uh, what time is it? It's three o'clock. Uh, <laughs> just to see like the beginning, but uh. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, that's it for this week, guys. I appreciate all, appreciate everyone that's here. Be sure to catch this on YouTube and audio on Anchor. Um, this, this production is, is being sponsored by Kurugu Studios. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, be sure if you, the links down in the description here on Twitch and, uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram and stuff, which is on the screen up here. And, uh, y'all have a good weekend, man. And, uh, Merry fucking Christmas, bitches. Happy New Year. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll talk. Right, we gonna wait before we go. Are we gonna have we, we having a New Year? Oh, the New Year special is just gonna be pretty much uh, top five. Yeah, we'll probably have it like the Saturday before New Year's Day. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. we all. Well, New 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 Year's is a Friday, man. Is it? Yeah. So the Friday of New Year's Day. I don't know. It's going to be hard. Um, we'll, we'll figure, figure something out. We'll figure it out off so screen. But anyway, later, guys. Enjoy your holiday. Get fat. Peace.